it short circuit current for circuit breaker. Next. Reference documents involve system study reports, data schedule of circuit breaker, figure 10 of ANSI C37.010. Next. Now let's calculate rated short circuit current of circuit breaker with following inputs. 3-phase symmetrical fault level at 400 kV bus is 63 kilo amperes. X by R ratio for a fault at 400 kV bus is 27 as per system study report. Refer figure 10 of ANSI C37.010, 3-phase and line-to-ground fault multiplying factors that include effects of DC decrement only. Multiplying factor based on X by R ratio is 1.1 for a two-cycle breaker, as shown in figure here. So total asymmetrical current to be interrupted would be 1.1 multiplied by 63 is equal to 69.3 kilo ampere. Next. Check as per data schedule of the circuit breaker wherein rated three-phase symmetrical short-circuit interrupting capacity of the offered 400 kV circuit breaker is equal to 63 kilo amperes. Rated asymmetrical short-circuit interrupting is equal to 83 kilo amperes. Since the symmetrical and asymmetrical short-circuit rating of the circuit breaker is greater than the actual available short-circuit current, the circuit breaker is acceptable. Next. Comparing only symmetrical short circuit current against symmetrical short circuit rating of a circuit breaker is not sufficient to assess circuit breaker adequacy. This comparison only considers the AC component of the current. In fact, the short circuit current will comprise of AC and DC components. The circuit breaker nameplate may only indicate short circuit symmetrical current which could lead to incorrect assessment if the assumed X by R ratio is less than the test X by R ratio. However, circuit breakers are typically tested at certain X by R ratio, depending on type of application. If the test X by R ratio of the breaker is not available from the manufacturer, the typically test ratio is available from IEEE standard C37 series. The X by R ratio of a circuit would dictate the magnitude of DC component. The higher the X by R ratio, the higher the short circuit current is. If the X by R ratio is less than the circuit breaker test X by R ratio, we could directly verify the circuit breaker symmetrical rating with the symmetrical short circuit current. On the other hand, if the X by R ratio is higher than the circuit breaker test X by R ratio, a multiplication factor must be considered to derate the circuit breaker. Next. Stay tuned, we will discuss other technical stuff in upcoming videos.